It is a myth that we don't tie up nitrogen. We keep it in the ammonium form. Uh, it is plant uh, readily available in the ammonium form. It is actually less plant energy required to get that ammonia into the plant. So corn utilizes both nitrate and ammonia, but we're not tying it up. It's still available for the corn plant to utilize throughout the entire season. So a myth that all stabilizers are the same is far from the truth. Um, you know, Optinide is differentiated in the marketplace. We're the only ones that sell nitropyrin, uh, both with NSERV and Instinct. Uh, comparatively, a lot of the products that are in the marketplace are DCD based, they're water soluble, um, so they only stabilize for one to two weeks at most, or worse, six to eight weeks. Uh, the other things when we're looking at this product space is just knowing what you're buying. A lot of products won't actually tell you on the label what's all in it. Uh, it should be a big red flag. So make sure to pay attention uh, that there's some key differentiators between the products. Nitrification, that biological process that we convert that ammonium to nitrate, actually happens rapidly in the spring. And so we like to say at 70 degree soil temps roughly, it takes nine days for conversion. So that conversion takes place in the spring, not the fall. So anytime we're stabilizing, uh, we are truly actually stabilizing for the spring. The other thing in the spring to consider is when those soil temps are rising, we get heavy rainfall months like May and June. And so when that rainfall is highest is when leaching is also prone to be the highest. So making sure that you use a stabilizer both in the fall and the spring and even in the side dress can help extend the, that nitrogen to be in a stable form until grain fill periods when corn really needs that nitrogen.